Hello everyone, to this video, I'm going to talk about how to link into the automated report using Apex URL. First, let's look at how to write the request syntax. RR, region status ID and line, report alias. I give you two examples. Uh, the first is the link to the primary report. And uh, look at here, this is the uh, URL of Apex. For F mark D equal, this is application ID, page ID section. And here is very important. You need to put the required syntax here. Here is the request sector in the URL. And if you want to link uh, alternative named reports, and uh, you need to put the required syntax here. Uh, report one is the uh, Alternative named reports alias. Now uh, let uh, let's go to the Apex platform and uh, see how to achieve it. First, here I I delete. First, I have page I have page with uh, an interactive report. This is the primary report. Now I will. Um, I will create an automatic, uh, automatic uh, named uh, named report, and uh, I choose automatic and give it name report one and apply. Now I have two report for the interactive report. One is the primary report, and the other is uh, is the alternative uh, named report. Let's go to the page designer and see the settings of the report. Uh, first, we look at the, uh, the, the static ID of the, of the interactive report. And uh, we go to the region, go to the region, scroll down. Scroll down here, advanced static ID, I give it name, EMP and line R. And uh, I go to the saved report. Saved report uh, has primary report and the report one. I created uh, the alternative name, the report. And primary report, uh, this is the uh, alias, is the primary. And the uh, link, link, and the uh, link is the uh, uh, generated by the system and here is the link you can look at here ir event uh, this is the static id and the primary primary is the alias and the report one report by the alias is uh, is a random is a random uh, number and i can modify it uh, as uh, you can you can you can modify uh, you can write any name here and uh, I save it I save it you can the link has changed link has changed and uh, here and here and it changed to the report one is the same of the alias. Now let's go to the let's go to the end page of the of the application. I choose the section page. You can use another page. Now uh, here I create the link button. Link button. I would like to link this button to the to the page uh, to the page eight. Then go to the page designer and. Uh, See the settings of the of the button and uh, go to the link uh, alternative button and the uh, right panel we can see the button attributes here I redirect to URL URL and uh, oh yeah okay I will copy I, I will copy the URL to here and this is the this is the um, this is the previous previous alias, and I will uh, modify it as the uh, 
E O R. Yeah. Okay. Now let's run the button and uh, see if it, see if it is uh, working. And uh, click the button. And here we have um, uh, linked to the alternative default uh, default report. Now, if if I want to link the primary report, I will go back to the this page and uh, modify the modify the button the button setting. And here I will modify the alias C R I M A R Y as as primary. Now, okay, say uh, run. Well, this is the, the primary report I have linked uh, to the primary report. Okay, this video is done. If you have questions, please pray for me to ask and leave comment on the down below. Thank you very much. See you next video. Bye.